Question three. Now, the art of probability is really just choosing the right method. Now, not the only way of doing this question, but I think the easiest way to do this particular question is to draw yourself a sample space diagram. We've got a dice and we've got a spinner. So the dice is, is thrown and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. The spinner is spun. One, two, three, four, five. And then we look at different outcomes. So each player rolls the dice once, spins the spinner once, a player wins five pound or two pound. So he wins two pounds if he rolls a five and spins a five. So where does that happen? It happens here. So let's just put a five for winning five pound. And now maybe let's put a two where we win two pound. So two and a two there and a two there and a two there and a two there and a two there. And also going across as well. And these satisfy all the conditions of winning two pounds. Now you'll notice, so all the other possibilities, we would not win anything. We're not going to win anything on those. So how many different possibles are there? Well, there are, there are 30 different possibles. So the easy way to work out how much money we're expecting David to make. Well, the income is going to be, he's going to get £30 income. And he's going to take away how much he's expecting to pay out. Well, we've just seen from here, look, there are 30 different possibles there. If we just add up five, and so we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 25. So we take away the 25. So we can expect that if we play the game 30 times, we're going to expect he's going to make £5 profit. Now, part B says, give a reason why David's actual profit may be different to the profit he expects to make. Well, it's not going to happen that way all the time. I'm just making a little bit of room there. Um, it's not going to happen that way every single time. Over a period of time, we'd expect him to make £5 for every 30 games. So it's not going to always be the same. Remember, this is based on... So it's based on probability. So I'll just pop that down there. Based on probability. You might, might could happen that nobody wins. Right? It's quite possible. Maybe nobody wins. Or of course. Everybody might win five pounds. You might have a little run of five pounds to play, uh, to pay out. Right? We don't quite know, but over a period of time, we would expect it to average to be this.